CBC is holding course with the response to COVID-19 as other provinces like Alberta are starting to make substantial changes to their health response. We have no plans, none, to change our requirements around self-isolation in BC. We have no plans, none, to change our approach to contact tracing. In Health Minister Adrian Dix not making comment or casting judgment on Alberta's decision to make drastic changes, including removing isolation requirements mid-August, even if you have COVID, and a few weeks later ending testing outside of high-risk and acute care settings. But he's clear BC will continue the backbone of the public health response here, like quarantining when COVID positive. We need to obviously contract trace and work with the, the broader community of people around them and also help them uh, during what can be a very stressful and, of course, uh, for many people, a period when people get extremely sick. As for what the changes there will mean here, he's diplomatic and non-committal, but reiterating vaccinations are key to protection. And they're busting out all the stops for shots, like getting immunized waiting for a ferry. People who are ferry passengers, whether they're waiting in their vehicles or foot passengers waiting to hop on the ferry, can first hop on our mobile vaccine bus, get their shot, whether it's the first or second dose, and then be on their way. And while there are clearly a lot of people heading to the island and cases have been high there, it's vaccinations, the workhorse of BC's response, not travel that concerns him. We've had cases in the last few days on Vancouver Island. We're going to continue to have some cases on Vancouver Island. And that means it's as important on Vancouver Island as anywhere to get immunized against COVID-19. Getting shots in people under 50 is especially key. The Kelowna area outbreak, mostly unvaccinated 20 to 40-year-olds. Dick's confident relying on the approach BC's followed throughout will prevail there and throughout the province. But warning people to brace for cases to remain high for a while longer, even with the regional mask mandate and travel advisory brought in there this week. It's going to take some time for those, uh, those uh, changes to have an effect on new cases. So we may or may not see anything anywhere on Tuesday morning. In any event, it won't be because of uh, travel on the weekend. For City News in Victoria, I'm News 1130's Lisa Yuzda.